Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come with. So I don't know much about the British press. I've been um, in England only and one time for a few days. So um, I didn't pay attention to news or gossip, uh, any of that. But a, a viewer has asked, you know, to look into this, do I think the British press will uh, lay off um, Harry? So I'll ask the question, we'll see. So the Hermetic Tarot, based on the esoteric workings of the Secret Order of the Golden Dawn by Godfrey Dowson. These are US game systems cards. And these cards are, I consider them kind of severe. They're a black and white deck, uh, and they're, they're really loaded with symbolism. So for me, sometimes that can kind of get in the way. But uh, on the other hand, it gives you lots to uh, work with as far as dividing the cards. The uh, uh, little guidebook that comes with them is, um, you know, it's a little small. You can read them, but it gives you very useful interpretations of the cards. And if you're going to use these cards, I would say take some time to just read through this and know what you're talking about. Um, these cards, though, I mean, look at this. What happened here, the Golden Dawn would encourage their members to design cards that meant uh, something in particular to them. So these are one of the uh, um, surviving uh, works. Um, you can see that uh, if you're going to take them just at their face, they tell you how to read the cards. But if you're just going to take them for what a traditional Eight of Cups is, then you have clear symbolism if you look at it but some of these can really take a minute for you to you know interpret what all of the symbolism in here means and there's everything in here there's astrology um numerology i mean it, they're very thorough cards uh, i only use them uh, when i have kind of a severe subject or a person that i want to uh, read on so i like to spread these out so that you get a chance to see what uh, different cards look like in case you don't collect cards or you don't get to see full decks of tar tarot cards all the time i've got a ton of decks of tarot cards i don't know i gotta get a rain on this i think but uh, the hermetic tarot are very interesting uh, cards to use so interesting question viewer has asked the British media, are they going to lay off of Harry, I guess Harry and Meghan, or are they going to give the princes, uh, William and Harry, a chance to reconcile? It seems uh, someone believes, and again, I don't know much about the uh, British media, just what I hear, uh, but someone believes that um, they really are looking for blood, that the British media, and that they have the power for that. So I don't know. I, I, it's not like that in the United States. And I don't know if it's like that in Australia. And I can't keep these cards together. So the question is going to be, is the British media, and I have to say, aren't there legitimate newspapers too? I mean, but I suppose, um, you know, the, uh, the cosmos know what I'm trying to get at here. So the British media, are they going to give uh, William and Harry a break and let them just uh, recover from this? Wouldn't it have been amazing? I mean, just really unbelievable if uh, spontaneously those two brothers had just embraced or, or really shook hands heartily and really smiled at each other and looked at each other, you know, like two brothers should at, at this amazing occasion. That is what I was looking for. You know, that's what I wanted to see. So, and is it the media? Is it just that hungry? And is, is you know, the monarch, the monarchy, are they feeding uh, that, uh, thinking that they are controlling the media, but they have actually created a monster? So... I think I'm just going to do a representative drawing. I'm just going to do a full Celtic cross in the first part of it to, to see what it tells us about the, the part of the media that is so uh, toxic, the British media. And then the, we'll decide what the last four cards will be uh, during that reading. So there we go. So I'm going to cut this up. And I'm using these uh, this Hermetic Tarot because these are black and white, just like newsprint. Okay, And it's the first thing I thought of. Uh, was when the, I saw the viewer question is what cards would I use? I said, well, I have to use black and white just like newsprint. These are for me uh, kind of severe cards, but uh, so we get six cards right off the top. One, two, three, four, five. No, you can't come because you turned yourself over. Six. It was temperance. Okay, so we'll put this right here and say to these cards, okay, I want to know about the toxic 
part of British media. Um, uh, so if you can let us know about that, and uh, are you going to let Harry and William go? Signifier card for that. The Wheel of Fortune. Well, you know, Wheel of Fortune is typically... Uh, you know, coming to an end of a cycle, beginning another one. I like to think of the Wheel of Fortune in a positive manner. Um, and the, they named this in this uh, Hermetic Tarot, uh, Lord of the Forces of Life. Lord, so, you know, master of them, Lord of the Forces of Life. And um, so that's 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 a positive. That's good. Because, and otherwise, you're thinking that the wheel would be turning in the, in the wrong direction. So that's the signifier, Lord of the Forces of Life, the Wheel of Fortune. The challenge to that in, uh, you know, what uh, what are you about? British toxic media and uh, the two of swords making a choice uh, Lord of the peace restored well that's interesting because I'm asking the question will they lay off and let these brothers sort this out and then the, this two of swords which typically means taking a choice making a choice and I, I like to think of swords as truth and justice so making a choice between truth and justice for this toxic media would be interesting and uh, and then the card is then named Lord of peace restored I like that so wheel of fortune could be turning in the direction of uh, having peace restored, depending on the the, uh, the choices made. In the base of this reading, then, for uh, the British toxic media, Eight of Pentacles. And um, Eight of Pentacles is always, you know, having plenty, really having everything that you need, and more, really. And uh, this card, uh, they called the Lord of Prudence, so um, which which makes me think a, a little bit less, that I've, got, I've probably got plenty, but I want to make sure I'm, I'm prudent with it. And uh, so interesting. So the base of this reading is the Eight of Pentacles, which uh, typically to me, me means, you know, uh, really having enough. Uh, Lord of Prudence. In the past of this reading, for the uh, British toxic media, is the Knight of Wands. Oh, yeah, wands are always uh, fire, uh, motion, planning, movement, forward, you know, wanting to get something done. And so if you're the Knight of Wands, you know, the Knight is the fighter in the Royal Suite to me, and uh, you give him a task, and he's going to go get it taken care of. So this one is called, as a matter of fact, Lord of Flame and the Lightning. So, yeah, so they um, their past is wanting to make something happen. In the sky of this reading, then, is the Nine of Swords. And the Nine of Swords is always nightmares. And look at these crooked swords, and, and it's just a twisted mess. And the card is even called Lord of Despair and Cruelty. So, you know, and if that's the best we could hope for of, out of this British media, that's a shame. That's a real shame. Um, and then the uh, likely outcome of this, uh, I guess this is to identify who is the British media and will they give these boys a chance. Uh, the Two of Wands, and that's typically short-term planning. And But here we've got they've got a firm grip on these two wands, almost a devilish, uh, evil-looking hand, really. And uh, and then it's called the Lord of Dominion. So uh, they'll let them do what they want them to do. It's short-term planning, and uh, probably that's how the, the papers have to go about that, of course. And uh, amazing that they will actually plan the news, according to these cards. So first part of this, then, is uh, signified by the uh, Wheel of uh, Fortune. That's challenged by trying to make a choice called the Lord of Peace Restored. Interesting. And the base of the reading was the Eight of Pentacles, the Lord of Prudence. Um, so, you know, that, that that brings to mind a dealing out, a, a dishing out of this worth anyway. And then, um, uh, not to confuse it with the uh, Six of Pentacles, but the Lord of Flame and Lightning over here in this Knight of Wads, is, that's who they've been. They've been, let's make something happen and let's print it up and sell it to the public. But up in the sky here, we got the Nine of Swords, and that's where you're looking for, you know, the best you could hope for. And the Nine of Swords is just, uh, you know, nightmares, and this is called the Lord of Despair and Cruelty. So, you know, who wants that? Um, but then the likely outcome, again, is the Two of Wands, which is short-term plans with a tight grip on that short-term plan, the Lord of Dominion. And I don't think the media is going to do anything that's not going to sell papers. That's what I think. So for the last part of this, uh, what do I want to ask? What do I want to ask? Let's see. So we know that the that part of the, of the media, that toxic part, is just going to go after uh, what's best for their uh, bottom line. Okay, according to this right here. And then, uh, so here, let's say, so given that even, uh, will they give the princes a break? I think that's a good question. The signifier of that self, the self of that question, regardless of whatever, is that toxic part of the British media going to give these, these boys a break? And uh, it's called the Four of Cups, and it's kind of holding on to what you've got. So if they're holding on, if this media is holding on to what they've got, that means they're, they're not going to give up much. Uh, it could be good that they're not going to move one way or the other. And the card is called the Lord of Blended Pleasure. The Lord of Blended pr Pleasure as the self of that question, will they let William and Harry go? And let's see. Uh, let's um, look at the uh, environment that that uh, card would be in. And that's the Eight of Cups. 
And um, yeah, you know, it's typically walking away from something of value. Uh, the Eight of Cups is that's the environment that it's in, and of course, that's kind of what these these the the that's what's happening here. And uh, the Lord of Abandoned Success, the Lord of Abandoned Success. So this uh, holding on what you've got is in the environment of walking away because when there's the tragedy of walking away then that's a headline that you can sell in the um in the hopes and fears of this question or, or william and harry uh, is the news media going to give them a chance um uh, justice okay well that's the hope you would hope for for some sort of balance of the scale some kind of truth uh of being let to come home a yin and yang um justice so yeah that's that's the highest hope it's called the daughter of the lord of truth the daughter of the lord of truth so that's the highest the hopes and the fears. So that's the hopes for will they get together. And then the final card for William and Harry will the media let them get back together is look at that, the devil. Look at that. Jeez. The devil is being, um, you know, just chained on to your very worst intentions to the, uh, I mean, it's obvious uh, what the devil is. And um, so it looks like this is going to go on for a while. And this card is called the Lord of the Gates of Matter. The Lord of the Gates of Matter. That's a very interesting way to, to name that card. The Gates of Matter. Huh. Holding on to those material possessions, uh, those material things, those um, uh, corporal uh, pleasures or, or responsibilities or things that you think you deserve, uh, when in, in reality, you're just two brothers who need each other's love. But that's what all this is tied to. So it looks like uh, as long as there's a story there, uh, this part of the media is not going to let it rest. That's what I see. Well, I don't like the way it came out, but uh, it started out with the Wheel of Fortune. So, I mean, there's always hope. You know, there's always, well, why wow, that went dark? There's always hope that something can happen. Um, it's challenged by uh, the Two of Swords making a choice. Um, the um, uh, past of that, uh, of who are the British media, was the Knight of Light, of Light, uh, sorry, the Knight of Wands, and it's called here Lightning. So, yeah, not good. And then um, the, the, the highest hope of, of this uh, media is uh, the Nine of Swords, which is just a nightmare. It's just a nightmare. Um, and the likely outcome was that they would not relinquish their grip uh, in any of these short term plans. Uh, and then we said, what are the self of them? And are they going to let Will, William and Harry just, just get on with this on their own? And we had uh, the Four of Cups, you know, really holding on to what you've got. Um, <clears throat> you know, the Four of Cups is actually, now that I think about it, it's not really wanting something that's offered to you. So let's uh, redefine that. So the self of them is being offered something that uh, they really don't want. So if we're asking them to let the boys be their own, they're saying, well, I don't really want that. And then the and then it's in the in the environment of uh, the eight of cups, which is walking away from you know value, emotional value in particular, uh, and it's called the abandoned success. And then the hopes and the fears of that, you know, we're hoping for justice, for something equal to happen here. But then the uh, likely outcome of everything is the devil card, and you just chain to those uh, uh, material uh, pleasures that just tickle all of us so much. So, yeah, I don't think it's going to happen that way. Well, I'm Mark. This has been my journey through tarot. I'll be doing it again tomorrow if you want to go. So stop on by. Ciao for now.